Hi, welcome to Garden House Studio TV. My name is Peggy, and this is my husband, Wayne. Hey, you're just in time for our next DIY video. Come on in. We are going to be doing another um, project with the JRV, Jamie Ray Vintage stencils today. And we are going to be making a farmhouse Christmas sign out of this board, which I've already put some chalk paint on. Um, basically, this is an, a recycled drawer front. They're very heavy. We had a dresser that just was totally falling apart. So we took the drawer fronts. I have never seen them quite this heavy and we've been making signs out of them. So, and I know you won't be able to see these real well because they're clear, but once we do them, you will. We're going to be using this truck, which I, I am not going to pretend I know whether it's a Ford or a Chevy. It's just an old cool truck. And we're going to be using the sign that says Farmhouse Christmas and the stencil. And basically, we're just going to put them both on top of this board, but it's going to be a little different than normal stenciling. It's kind of going to be a little bit more advanced stenciling because this is a huge amount of space to cover this whole thing. So we'll do a little bit of shadowing um, in the parts that are going to be, and I'm going to do it red. I was going to do it green, and then I was going to do it a different color and I said no it's a Christmas truck I'm gonna have to do it red so I'm doing it red but I want to block off these tires because I definitely want them to be black so I'll show you what I do I make a mask for that and the farmhouse Christmas we are going to do that first just because it's the easiest one I got out my um, chalk paint I am using Republic Red which I had never opened this can, so I had to stir it up a little bit. Great red, perfect red for Christmas. I'm gonna pop my lid back on. I don't know if that will be enough. That's a big truck, but we'll see. It. And I'm not gonna use black, black. I'm gonna use the peppercorn on the farmhouse Christmas part because it's a little bit of, of a softer. We will get our peppercorn paint which we used yesterday, I think, for something. All I need is a little bit, and I already stirred this, so let's just take a little tiny bit. Maybe we'll do some extra stenciling later. And I'm using this as an old stencil brush. We used to sell these. We don't have any more of these, but they'll work perfect for the um, letters, which are very narrow. So the top coat of the um, top coat of this board is painted in um, chalk synthesis paint. Color is Antique Villa, and then I just blended a little bit of um, a little bit of linen into it, just to give it a little not be so so white. To kind of make it a little bit more antiquey. The truck is big. It's actually bigger than my board, the actual stencil. The truck is not. So when I tape it, I'm gonna tape it down this end. Move that so you can see what I'm doing. I'm gonna tape it right across the end because I won't be able to tape it up at the top and I don't want it to move around. The um, Farmhouse Christmas sign fits perfect. And I always have my projects on top of these two by fours. So this one, I am just, I think I'm gonna move that a hair. And we'll, we'll start with the farmhouse Christmas. So we're stenciling farmhouse Christmas and then we're gonna put that big old truck there. We'll see how that comes out. And I'm, okay, these stencils are 15 milliliters thick so they are very thick, easy to wash. The ones I did yes use yesterday were super easy to get clean. This paint has been drying, you know, more than 12 hours, so I don't really worry about using the um, frog tape on it. Okay. 
people stencil differently. Some people pounce. Some people um, do it in circles. Some people do it up and down. Whatever works best for you. But the procedure is get a little bit of paint on your brush and then offload most of it. So this is a, a like a charcoal -y gray. Okay. And this board also is a little bit um, bowed. So we are going to, and I think I'm pretty, just a hair off with my letter, my, I don't know if this is even straight, so I don't even know. I mean, the board is even square, so, but that looks better. Okay, start again. And here we go. Let's see. I got a little bit of tape over my letters. So this is the perfect size brush for this size letter. Oh, get my hand out of the way. And I am doing what we call the pounce. So let's see if I can pull this up just a little bit and we can look at it. Yep. So I think I may do those letters fill in the the marks there, which I keep forgetting the name of them. If somebody remembers the name of them. Okay, on to the H. Now, if you are using a um, an enamel paint, which I was going to use an enamel paint, and decided not to open another can of paint, but if you are gonna use an enamel paint, it's a little more difficult to keep it from getting under. The chalk paints just seem to work so much better, so much easier not to get them underneath the stencils. Okay, almost done with this part. Okay, let's see how that worked. This is always the fun part, the unveiling. How did we do? I think that this E could use a little more paint. We'll see. Okay, let's pull this off. And I think I am going to use a little bit of a um, distressed edge along all along this. I'm going to do it a little bit, um, probably with the gray. So there is that part. Farmhouse Christmas. I like that with the gray, the deep gray, rather than the uh, rather than the black black. Okay, so. Now we are going to do that truck, the challenge. Okay, let's see how it comes out. And it is a big truck. And we will put him, these big old trucks, they're perfect for farmhouse. I'm gonna tape this down over here and so if I was to say what is the key to stenciling, hopefully I would get the answer less paint, very little paint. That's how you get nice even lines. And look at we even got a piece of piece of that um, brush. Sometimes the brushes come apart. Okay. So I told you I was going to block off. So what I'm going to do is I made these little round circles. So how I did it is I just put a paper underneath here. I'll show you exactly what I did. 
because sometimes you need to mask off and use the thinnest paper you can. So I put that paper underneath there. I drew around it and then cut, cut about an eighth of an inch above it to make, to make a circle. So that made it a little tricky. Mm -hmm. It's just to protect it so that I, because you can always tell when you go over it and it won't be perfect, but it'll be a little better. All right, and then this one, I think this is the smaller one. I think I cut another one. Let's see if I can cover that. And it's mostly for right up along the, um, the wheel well. I hope that's what that's called. <laughs> because the rest of it, I probably can get it. But I just don't want the whole thing to be red. There, that should help that part. Some of it you can put a piece of tape over, which is what I'll do for a couple of these smaller ones, but it would be a little bit more difficult to put a tape over that. And the reason I'm taping it off is because I want those, I don't want the whole truck to be red. Most of it, but not the whole truck few little parts we're going to have stay, but it's a big truck. Okay. So here's what it looks like before I do the uh, stenciling. I'm just masking off a few parts that I don't want to be red. Next, we're gonna use this awesome red paint. And this is a great red. Here we go. Give you a heads up with these stencil brushes. These really good giant stencil brushes are about $30 a piece. I've had these for 10 at least years, maybe more. Okay, I think I'm ready for the unveiling of the great old vintage red pickup. Like I said, it's, it's always difficult to do it for the first time live. You just don't know. So I have left a few parts that I've taped so that I can do them after. I'm going to pull this up and just see how he came out. Looks pretty good to me. What do y'all think? Pretty good red pickup. Now to go back and do those little feet. <laughs> little feet. <laughs> the, the little tires. I guess truck feet. Okay. Easy peasy to line this up because you know exactly where it goes. And we are going to pull that, but we can't pull it when we have it taped. We'll tape this, pull the tape off. Pull this piece off. And here's where it's gonna be a little bit tricky, just because um, we're gonna, we're only a tiny little bit away from that uh, piece.
Okay, I think I got it all. There is my farmhouse truck. I'm sorry if I put that right. Pull, lift that up. Is it tape? Farmhouse Christmas. It. Great truck, huh? It is an awesome old truck. I love this truck. All right, so what I want to do is I just want to put a little bit um, of gray around the edge just so the sign doesn't look like it just goes into, and I just do it by really just hitting that edge. You'll see it as it, when it comes into the camera. There is our project for today using two JRV stencils, the farmhouse Christmas and the vintage truck. Um, we are putting it on an old dresser front and we use um, Wise Owl chalk synthesis paint for the whole thing. Thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you in our next video. And don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe.